Oh, it's been a while. Questions, please? You said it, it's been a while. So welcome back to Sanford. Yeah, it feels good. I love this room. It reminds me of a lot of good times. So it's good to be back. So how has the short break been since we're holding uh, the head here? Yeah, short break. But I'm, I'm happy for it because I've played a lot of matches this year where I had to... Um, you know, wait three weeks to play and you just don't get any momentum. So I'm hoping that, you know, I'll be able to keep my momentum and be able to uh, just continue to play well. After such a great performance at Wimbledon, you must be pretty high on confidence. Have you set some new goals? Obviously, you're excited about the Olympics and being here. Um, and did you kind of sit down and reassess after such a performance like that? Um. Reassess, of course, I just want to continue to play well. No match is guaranteed. So I'm doing my best to just um, be focused. I mean, every match I played at Wimbledon was very well contested um, and definitely well earned. So I know I have to earn it. As far as how you look back and see, how did you hold up physically playing all those matches with the rain, delays, doubles, and singles? Are you pleased with the way you came out of that? Yeah, I mean, the doubles is a lot. But it's what we wanted. We're just thrilled to have been out there. We're thrilled to be hopefully be able to play some more this year. And if we could play doubles every tournament, we would. But yeah, it's a test, and I think I, I stood up pretty well to it. How was the Champions Dinner? How different was that? It was much experience? different, and yeah. I think it was a great and much needed change. It was it was actually exciting. There he went in the back room. Uh, so I, I enjoyed it, actually. And usually I'd never go to the dinner unless I was a champion. So this is probably the second time. I, of course, I went because of Serena. And uh, my family was there. And, I'm, and when you spend so much time on site, you just want to try to be where the rest of everybody else is. What was different about it? What was the much-needed change? Uh, it just came up. It was glamorous. It was wonderful. It was exciting. It was... Everything that you would want from a champion's dinner. So I'm really happy to see Wimbledon continue to step it up in every single way. For Venus, um, how was it for the Williams family that you were one match away from playing Serena in the championship, then you guys won the doubles, and now you come here, the place you've been before, as a number one seed? So how are you feeling overall? What's been going on? Yeah, it's been um, definitely... Fast paced. I mean, talk about fast paced. There hasn't been a moment, but I'm into it. It's a good problem. It's a good problem. It's it's nice to be actually out there playing and not watching on TV. So I enjoy that tremendously. You might get asked this every time you come back to the Bank of the West, but this is your first professional tournament. What do you remember about that first match in 1994? I remember being pretty nervous in the warm up, but once I got past the first game or so, I was just. I was just really, <laughs> I was just, <laughs> I was just, um, I don't know, not nervous anymore. I have no idea how I won the match. I had zero strategies, zero understanding of how to win a match, but I guess I was good enough. It's the only thing I can think of. I would love to see a replay of that, really. And then you have to find out a little bit more about this, the match with Sanchez Vicario. What was that experience like, and what did you learn about your... Yourself. Yeah, I always believed in myself. I always believed that I could win any match, but I didn't know how to win that match, especially when you're pretty much almost won the match and then you don't win another game. I remember more than anything, she took a bathroom break, and after that I never won <laughs> another game. So it was a good strategy from her against a youngin. And uh, after a while, though, I got the hang of it. Talk, um, positive talk about how much you've matured since you know you started playing tennis. How would you say um, you've matured um, at this level of play on court and off court? Well, I'm pretty much the most mature on tour. <laughs> There's not a lot of people older than me, but I take that as a compliment because I love being out here, and it proves that you don't have to go until you're good and ready. So when I'm good and ready, I'll be gone. But now is not the time. 
And what would you say are the highlights and challenges regarding playing singles versus playing doubles and vice versa? Singles is something I prepare for a lot. Doubles is something we don't prepare for a lot. So a lot of times we'll just walk out there and play. So the challenge is, is getting used to being on the doubles court because it's a different game. And it's very fast paced. It's exciting. I think it's extremely undervalued in tennis. And especially since most uh, players do play doubles over singles, which is interesting. But um, I think I've gotten a lot more used to being on the doubles court in these last three tournaments that we've played. And it's, it's wonderful to feel comfortable because then you know you can help your partner, a.k.a. your sister, and not get her killed out there. So it's nice. Yeah, so are, Serena's around. Are you guys practicing doubles still for, for Rio at all? Or yeah, we had a little dubs practice this morning. It was like impromptu, and it felt good. And whenever we get out there, we get so much better. And, of course, Rio's on our mind. And we've had great results in the um, Olympics, but we know that it's not a given. So we'll be focused, and I'm going to rely on her a lot, and hopefully we can just be relaxed. So I'm sure if we're relaxed, we'll play just knockout. Does it get more intense every time you come here? The fact that uh, you have been a two-time finalist, seven, uh, sorry, seven-time finalist, two-time uh, champion here that um, you've won it after a six-year drop? Yeah. You know, I, I come here as often as I can. If I could come here every year, I absolutely would. It doesn't always work up with the schedule. But this year it has, and I wanted to play as much as I could of the U.S. Open Series before Rio got here, so it was important for me to, to play this date. And it's nice to know that I've been, you know, either in the winner's circle or very close to it a number of times. It makes you feel very relaxed on the court. Because every Olympic, I've talked to the different players, every Olympics is very different. Uh, like, it's never, like, the same experience, no. I guess. So, I mean, what is that difference really about? Is it because the organization's different, the cities are different, different time, different place? Like, why Why do they differ so much? And, and yeah, yeah I, th I think just in general, going to a different part of the world, I mean, the United States is different than France, so you're automatically going to get this whole different vibe and a whole different way of doing things. So definitely going to Rio. I've never been. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about Brazilians in Brazil. So I don't know what to expect. I'll have my eye on the ball, hopefully most of the time, and I don't have to worry about anything else. And are you still planning to stay through, like, closing ceremonies and have, like, a full... Olympic experience? I would love to be at a closing ceremonies and I would love to see another event. Those are two of the things I'm that I'm looking forward to after the tennis event is over. So Dennis, uh, Serena said that she was really inspired by LeBron's performance to win the championship in Cleveland. How does that affect you since you used to be in Miami and gone to Florida with you guys? Um, I don't watch a lot of basketball, <laughs> but I think what he did was incredible. Wow. Again, against a team that was almost unbeatable. That's sport, though. That's why you always have to play. Is you can look at the paper and look at the numbers, but that's why they play the match, because you never know what's going to happen. The next victory, of tournament victory, will be the 50th of your career. Does that never mean anything to you? I'd love to reach that. I'd love to go past that. I'd love to reach it here. I think there's um, 28 other players who will have something to say about that. So I've got to just try to one by one. Last question. I just want to know what uh, your dog's name, the age, and the breed. Yeah, Harold, wherever he went. <laughs> um, he's nine. He was an impulse buy. Just saw him and got him one day. He's a Havanese. He loves to sit in corners. He loves to travel. He loves his aunt Serena. He I loves guess. to eat and toys. That's his life. And I guess Steph Curry usually brings his daughter to the press conference or you in the Bay Area, so he might as well bring someone else to come Yeah, in. I haven't had that daughter yet, so <laughs> I have a son, Harry. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Venus.